Meet Mr. and Mrs. Herdman, Greg and Christine. They travel to Pakistan with Muslim charity for an incredible fundraising project. Greg and Christine have been married for 50 years and now spend their retirement keeping busy and active in their community, both locally in Redford and globally too. They travelled to Pakistan as part of Muslim Charities' annual rickshaw challenge, along with 30 other participants from across the UK and even as far as Austria. The challenge involved the participants raising funds and then driving 15 brand new rickshaws across the Punjab province of Pakistan, from Lahore all the way to Multan, where they would eventually be handing over the three-wheeled motorised rickshaws to vulnerable people and families, eager to start their own livelihoods. Their first stop was one of Pakistan's most breathtaking and historically significant cities, Lahore. Greg and Christine explored the old streets of this vibrant city, meeting with locals who were keen to welcome them. They visited centuries-old sites and buildings, taking in their beauty. They saw the beautiful Badshahi Mosque, the Lahore Fort, the historic Wazir Khan Mosque, while walking through the narrow streets of the old city. Lahore is known for its delicious food. Well, I'm a chemist and food is one of my key priorities. And uh, whenever really we travel, it. we try to find out what the food's like in that particular place. It's wonderful. Yeah, I've really enjoyed the food. I think the only criticism might be there's been a bit too much of it. Before the real challenge could begin for Greg and Christine, they needed to test drive the rickshaw and learn how it works. Well, the rickshaw is a, um, a manually uh, controlled vehicle. You've all seen the steering and so forth. The clutch is, again, probably for a lot of people, it's fairly straightforward. It's just release and clamp on. Um, but from my point of view, not being a motorcyclist and not having driven a manual vehicle at all for probably 20 years, the challenge was getting to grips with that balance between accelerator and clutch at the gear change. Once I got into the swing of it, generally speaking, it seemed quite reasonable. The journey began with a bus ride to Nankana Sahib, Stopping first at the district of Guru Nanak, the Sikh leader and founder. In this area, Guru Nanak was born and it is a very respected site for followers of the Sikh religion. Greg, Christine and the participants visited a local school where the children were very excited to meet them. They visited a science laboratory built by Muslim charity as part of its education programme. Going to the school um, and particularly having an experience of the science in particular, which is my background, I've been retired since 2005 and I've suddenly felt myself back in the classroom. <laughs> um, so it was really, really interesting. When we were in the process of leaving the school, um, we suddenly found ourselves being offered the chance to plant some trees, which raised an eyebrow. What, what, <laughs> but then it was incorporated in that was the business of climate change and how the school along with lots of other organizations and general public wanted to try and do something and of course in climate change terms trees are and, and in fact gr anything green is an important component in terms of trying to balance the atmosphere and all sorts of things like that to express deep gratitude and respect Greg received a ceremonious headdress and Christine received a shawl from the local community elders. Greg was also presented with a shield of honour, showcasing the appreciation and gratitude of the management of the school to the Muslim charity delegation. I'm stunned to receive this award, so um, just to say to everybody on both sides of the game, so to speak, it's been a real pleasure being in Pakistan and meeting the people, uh, having a bit of entertainment from my colleagues. <laughs> uh, and so it's just wonderful. The next stage of the Rickshaw Challenge journey began with celebrations and joy.
Each team of participants had chosen a name for their rickshaw, and this particular rickshaw was appropriately named the Retford Rickshaw, comprising of team members Greg, Christine and Maroof, all three of whom hail from Retford, a market town in rural Nottinghamshire, and where Muslim Charity has its headquarters. Each team member took turns driving the rickshaw, whilst the other two would enjoy the ride as passengers. Pakistan turned out to be as wonderful as the participants hoped it would be. I think for me, the, the most memorable aspect, not just of the last few days, has been the interaction with the local people. But it, because we've spent so much time on the road, it's the cheerful waves and hello and or thumbs up and that sort of thing from everything from children on the back of motorbikes to truck drivers. You know, it, it's just been just makes us feel as if we're part of it. The rickshaw's journey continued into Faisalabad for a short rest, and the following morning the teams left once again. Lovely morning again. Uh, we're on the road for most of today, I think, um, which will be an interesting experience given uh, the way it looked yesterday. Um, we are learning our driving skills progressively, um, but it's um, going to be a long job yet. <laughs> The next stop for the Rickshaw Challenge participants was Sahiwal. After a good night's rest, the participants left for a day of exploration of this old traditional district. They visited the historic Harappa Museum. Today we've stopped at the Harappa Museum and we've had a look around the area and we've seen how the Indus River civilization was 5000 BC. It's phenomenal what we've been seeing today. We've seen original pottery from that period and even chess boards, the chess game, dice, how the people used to live at, in the, at that time and how they used to accurately measure weight um, and, and the scales that they used to use. And sometimes we often think that, you know, these periods in history were primitive periods. But I think from coming here today and seeing all of this, I sometimes wonder and marvel at the intelligence and the civilization levels of the people at that time. And it's something to be really, I really encourage everybody to come and see and learn how advanced people were at that time. We saw 5000 BC period, the way they used to do the drainage system and covered drains and filtration of water is just mind-blowing. Before leaving Sahiwal, the participants visited a health clinic, where local officials gifted Greg and Christine ceremonious shields as gifts of thanks and appreciation. The final stretch of this momentous journey had finally begun, and the team were finally on their way to Multan. After an evening of rest and delicious food among friends, the rickshaw challenge came to its eventual close. The 15 rickshaws driven by more than 30 participants of the challenge had reached its final destination. The climax of the whole trip was on Friday, on the second to last day, when we reached Multan and we had a handover ceremony where all of the beneficiaries had invited their family members. We got to meet with the, with the families of the beneficiaries and we were handing over these rickshaws one by one. And on the same occasion, at the same ceremony, we had our chairman of Muslim Charity, uh, Bakhtiar Pirzada. He was here for uh, another commitment in terms of a university conference, um, but he also joined the experience. And I remember uh, him walking in because it was not pre-planned, but when he walked in, um, Greg has a several years acquaintance with Bakhtiar, Morning, and he didn't know that he, would, he was going to be coming. So I think we also <laughs> caught that moment on camera where he was just sitting in the reception, and Bakhtiar walked in and said hello to him because Bakhtiar had actually bid farewell to him when he was leaving the UK and he had no idea that you know they would be meeting on this trip. So it was quite a light-hearted and a very uh, surprising moment. The rickshaw handover ceremony took place at a hotel and outside it was adorned by the bright colours of Multan and live traditional music, dancing and the showering of rose petals, a custom symbolising prosperity and a warm welcome in the local culture. Finally, the rickshaw was handed over to its rightful new owner. Well, I certainly think those who received the rickshaw at the end of our trip um, will have an opportunity to take, 
take control of their future and of their children. And that own control of and so forth is really key to making the most of your life. So I think that's, that's the important thing. I think being able to see what is happening with how the money is being spent as well. It's so easy for us in the UK to set up a direct debit for a charity. It goes out the bank and you don't really think about what it's doing. Here you can actually see the actual impact of the support that you're giving. Um, and I think that is really important. Muslim Charities Rickshaw Challenge was another huge success so that participants always remember this incredible journey. Each participant was gifted with a miniature rickshaw model to take away with them as a constant memory of this incredible adventure. The trip could not be complete without a trip around Multan. Visiting some of the most famous and iconic locations, Multan is known as being the city of saints, scholars and shrines. Participants also visited some of Muslim charities' education and street children projects in the city. Pakistan has more than 25 million children of school-going age that are not in schools, and Muslim Charities Rescue a Child project aims to integrate street children and those children involved in child labour by providing them with informal education and bringing them into mainstream schooling. It was an incredible journey for Greg, Christine and all participants of the Rickshaw Challenge, which touched so many lives along the way. Many new friends, connections and memories were built, leaving a mark on everyone's heart and creating a story that will be told and retold for years to come.